Hey everybody, this is David, you can call myself the Kitsy Game, and we are back to Rank Club Plus, and we're up to a great start from the last video, it's, we did do the prologue and, yeah, that's all this. We got to do new introduction of the new Master Detectives, and when the other first were all dead, and then they reveal everything up to point, like, Zilch was actually, like, not the real Zilch you think of. It was actually a hitman that trying to stop, like, to come into Conai Ward. Which kind of really did strange, don't you think? That's so really hard for not to say this clearly. It's just like really hard time, okay? But yeah, we go into a side prologue. We just like, meet the old master detective. And then we get like one of those biggest goals we do is one of those Conai Ward ultimate secrets. I think that's what they call it. I'm not sure if that's actually what they call it. But yeah, that's when like the real investigation of the city starts here, which is gonna be something really impressive. You couldn't go like this, the opening scene is really gonna come in like like it though. Kind of sound like similar kind of like any other game I know so far. So yeah, and that's where the sto new story begins, which inside Karnak World, which needs to be something really different unlike any other. So we we'll, we'll see how this could lead to. Of what coming next exactly? I mean, we don't really gonna like a start to the chapter at the moment. I mean, we get done with the chapter zero. We're on the far log. Now for sure, for certain, this could be on the first chapter. See how this gonna plays out. The faint sound of a ticking clock. Is this supposed to be a the clock tower? I don't think that they sound like that. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the wheel of fate? Oh. Oh my Every goodness. Every time that vault's door closes, I search again for a reason to open it. It almost feels like when you introduce the first the chapter, this is how, like, how this is gonna begin exactly. Boom. Chapter 1, The Nailman Killings. The Nailman Killings? This had to do with this old there's a nails there around or something? Like, I see that there's a dead corpse that looks like stuck into the nail thing. <sighs> Got some nice sleep. You know, there's just sleeping in underneath the submarine this whole time, are you? <sighs> no one's here yet? It's just about time, I think. About time for what? And to be fair, their type are rarely on time anyway. Master detectives are all weirdos. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just like Simon and Kyle and Like, each student's were have different personalities as such. Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? Not really. Is it because the sofa's not even like, soft enough? What? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Be more like me. Uh, yeah, he could have get like an actual bit. Even today, my mind is crystal clear, although it doesn't get much use. <laughs> so you actually been living underneath the submarine this whole time? Oh, uh, huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. The other Master detectives are staying at a hotel, right? That's no fair. Really? I'm totally jealous. Yeah, how come Yuma doesn't have her own hotel as well? Unless he doesn't have any money with him. It's discrimination! They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally! For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. Uh, huh. Guess a good way to introduce. Oh boy. So this is gonna be how it looks like, huh? And before we do that, I'm pretty sure we got like new stuff going on here. Oh, we got new stuff. Riverbank, uh, Kamisaki District, and Kanai Station. And we got case files. Oh, this is most likely is like it's solved, like it's already been done. Oh, well, they have mystery labyrinth outcome. And that should be possible. Do I press it? Oh, it's showing me the results then. 
that okay. I hadn't checked out the case files in a long time as such, but that's a long. And I don't think I'm not gonna read through the case file. And now I've got the profile. I have a feeling there might be Yeah, more stuff going on here, I see. Uh, anything new? Like Patricia Yuma got updated. Uh a training detective with amnesia. Okay, there's something like not just Max Detective, now he's going to trainee. Which why Yuma specifically was only in a training detective. Like why not special is he not even that special? I have no idea. His small build is unsuitable for physical confrontation. Like a cell coming result in the tendency of frequency complaint. However, he possesses a strong sense of justice and selflessly trying to help anyone in need. Does he? Because he always confuses a lot. Though framed by the fake Zilch as a culprit of the Amaterasu Express massacre, Yuma joined forces with Shinigami and exposed the truth by entering the mystery labyrinth. Okay, you need for uh, Shinigami, I see. I'm not sure there are anything in like, changes. Shinigami can open a path to the mystery labyrinth, which is the manifestation of mystery from the real world. The truth behind the mystery is revealed by solving the mystery labyrinth. The spelling it required weeping the true culprit soul, which result in the death in the real world. Which, why could we just do that? Why can't just like we like? It would be a lot easier like to like tell the culprit to admit your uh, commit your crime. Just like same thing I have a Persona Five, like trying to confess him. And actually, this one's uh some of the words have been different like a bit much. She can open the path to the Mystery Labyrinth, which is the manifestation of mystery from the real world. She has many special abilities inside the Mystery Labyrinth that can aid you in solving it. Mystery Labyrinth can be impelled by repeat. Yeah, that's what it goes. Like, I think it's the same as it goes, but I'm not sure it's something different. No, this is something different. It's like, we talk. The Mystery Labyrinth can be dispelled by repeating the soul of the culprit from whom it was made, resulting in the culprit's death. Okay. I got a new profile, Yako Furio. Um, his blood type is B. His birthday, May 21st. That's like, comments like you just meat buns. You really like meat buns a lot, don't you, Yako? His dislike is debt. I mean, of course. I mean, how the heck would he get and make his own money exactly? That's really weird. This talent is just plain detective. And talent, flair for negotiation. Blame me if I ever did the negotiation. I mean, it's not even like some kind of like a talent or forte you would think of. A Conlang Ward native and head of the Natural Detective Agency, he lives an unhealthy, unkempt, and unsanitary lifestyle. He understands that the threat of Amateur to Corporation peacekeepers pose, but only thinks of how to avoid them. Even so, he cares a great deal for his companions. Yeah, sure, even trying to be like a coward. And we got Halara Nightmare, which is interesting enough of uh, that person there, so which... Oh, this is a this mentioned description. A message that is dispatched to the Natural Detective Agency by the World Detective Organization. The shape with it in the Trinity Detective has no specific gender. So the other word is like, Halara is a non-binary, right? Like, Halara is not a guy or a girl. It just... <laughs> like a pronoun is a day. I mean, I'm not sure how can we make Halara as like, um, as a non-binary. They're kind of be strange, don't you think? Uh, and likes cats and dogs. I know it's right. Halara's like cats and dogs. And just like cruel con artists, something. And the master detective. And um, four days is a mystery. I had a feeling for each chapter, for each master detective have their own four days. I'm not sure when it occurred. And we got. This is Kiko Thunderbolt, and of course it's like it's all cute girls, which that's what you're trying to do, like you're trying to some attention. And he dislikes popular guys, which, okay, so what's the point about that? Master Detective dispatched the Natural Detective Agency by the World Detective Organization. His goal is to become famous as a mystery-solving super strong detective. He often referred to the trainee detective Yuma as Rookie. Yeah, sure, even you can call this a massive detective, but don't get the wrong idea about that. And then we got Fubuki Clockford, which she's royalty, and I'm not sure how. I mean, she may be like, I think, like, weird or dumb, something like that, whichever you want to judge her anything. Uh, blood type is O, and its birthday is June 10th. 
She likes exciting adventures. I mean, <laughs> she kind of being adventurous. And she only just like unexciting adventures. Which is unexciting adventures? Something sad? Something depressed? What do you think? What do you think of a boogie? <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, as she did dip this band to the non the agency, but the world the organization. Although she's a beauty with an outstanding style. Rare, the tendency can frustrate the people she talks to. Yeah. She was like, she doesn't even like no idea. She just like, uh, what was that exactly? <laughs> yeah, that's how Fubuki is exactly. Uh, next is BB at Twilight. He's living in a chimney, it's all really awkwardly, it's like, I want to never see him. And he likes fluffy pillows. Is it really that way, Tyron? And this like car pillows and living. What do you mean this like living? Exactly, BB. It's not like you have a depression, don't you, BB? The message that they the patch to the not only take everything but the world to the organization. He has pale skin in the aesthetic atmosphere about him. After laying down in the various place, his personality can be described as self indulgent. And then that's how it goes. Oh yeah, we have also number one a profile. Which is something interesting. His birthday was November 11th. It was like three days ago. A little bit weird of it is. And he likes cigars. Okay. And he dislikes sweets. And why does he like sweets so much? And he's titled number one at the WDO. I mean, that's the only thing he calls himself number one. Head of the World Data Organization. His true name is unknown. And he's almost never seen in public. Which strange never is why number one specifically. Like, he never shown his face at all. It's gonna be strange. It's an x mars there. They have an update for Zilch as well. It's strange that I have an x mars I've never seen that before or something like that. Um... Oh, does it also change this from the the like and dislike? Maybe the whole thing as well. It, it says it likes destroy nature. Oh, because it might be like the fake version of Zilch, isn't it? It dislike animals. <laughs> really? That is something. A title Hitman and title Impersonations. Like, how exactly are you able to pull that one exactly? In a sense, it's dispatched by Amaterasu Corporation. At the murder and taking place of Master Detective Zilch, the Hitman killed all the Master Detectives aboard the Amaterasu Express. He framed Yuma for the crime and was returning to Amaterasu when the sword was reaped by Shinigami the after the mystery level was solved. Resulting in his death. Which, how are you exactly trying to personate Zilch exactly? It's not like I have a, a doppelganger or something. Was well, there anything else? Oh, we got Swank's profile. I'm not sure it's still something. Is there any changes? There's something. Even after the truth was revealed, he proceeded with Yuma's arrest. Back it down and retreat only after Yako persuaded him. That's the only words it says. I don't think we're not gonna ever see him anymore. I doubt to believe it. And we got some glossaries here. More new stuff here, see. Riverbank. The riverbank of a large river running through Kana Ward. The river is wind and placid, but the water itself is terribly polluted. Not from the inside, is it? And Kana Station. The only train station in Kana Ward. It's a magnificent building, but Sadim has customers because of the city's isolation. He has changed that because they don't go out, so. How the heck can you pull this one? We got Kanai World's Ultimate Secret. Yeah, I did talk about that. The terrible secret hidden in Kanai World, the world detective organization is trying to uncover. It's not like connected to the great global mystery. Which, what is great global mystery exactly? We got Kamisaki District. The livest, most bristling area in Kanai World. Many people reside here. The variety of shops and stalls line the streets. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, there are more stuff here as well. We got detective training. A person currently being trained by where to detective organization to become a detective. Which we're not even point about that exactly. It's only a few words. And we got creative WDO. Detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. So that's what number one was saying. Detective must always prioritize solving the case. Emotion must be discarded to reach a perfect solution to a perfect deduction. I understand what the last part means, like, emotion must be discarded. Like, don't put your feelings aside. And the only way to, like, reach the truth is doing this good, the perfect deduction, or, like, in order to, like, find the real truth, right? 
Like, we can't let the fiends aside. You won't have to find the real truth. I think that's what most likely will do as a WGO, right? It's gonna be strange. So. Uh, special anonymous zone. Uh, that's a lot of this. I'm not sure there will be more stuff that we do all thing though. Though initially a religious city, Kanai will develop alongside Amatoji's corporation. Because of the isolation of the world, Kanai was is free from the influence of the unifying government, but is still under Amatoji's control. Detectives are unpopular and not allowed to establish agency anywhere in Kanai world. Huh, I explain one. The rain has been constant for about three years. It's rumored that something in the rain absolutely affects the human body and local environment. How does that affect the body from the rain? I mean, straight over there, so like, how long has it always been raining, you know, thing? Oh, god, this is... There was a... Oh, this is a tip date. Which I never heard of, like... I guess it's something like facts or something like that. Uh, and I thought they did agency. The submarine anchor at the riverbank is home of the Conlang Wars only detective agency. Head by the chief Yako Furio. He said detective agency are a kitchen and shower. Yako lives here. Yeah, of course, I feel though. There's a lot of... Yeah, interesting enough, there's some of those secrets, or some of the tips, though. Like, it's something to do with uh, doing Lotus Green, right? I don't think I gotta read the whole thing, though. But there are also, like, more. So that's not about to go, so... I think enough reading one here, so... I wanna see if I try and exam something. Like, probably give them more points. This is... This looks like the map of Conline Ward. The memos posted on it seem to be from the case the chief worked. Huh? Searching for stray cats, lost property, and a whole bunch of unimportant stuff. There doesn't seem to be any new memos. Is he not taking on case lately? Like, more points, that's something, I guess. Um, uh, anything interesting? Oh, okay, bookshelf. I see. Physics, forensics, and counting, encyclopedia. There's a lot of heavy reading. I mean, can you read? But don't be so sure. Maybe you just put fancy dust jackets on Rachi, uh, on Rachi magazine. No way. I think. What do you mean by that? Oh, they such a strange, don't you think? I get. Why are you yawning? I get it. Not. I guess we got to go to wash our face there. Good thought to him. If you want to wash your face, use the tap in the kitchen. Oh, um, okay. I guess it's shown right here. So this is what it looks like, huh? You've got a kitchen over there. Now, how do you barely run this? And they also have a sh shower room as well. I mean, train never right anywhere underneath the water, but why do we need a shower room? Wow! The shower is fully equipped. This submarine is incredible. Master? Why don't you go wash out first, Master? Oh, I don't need to shower right now. Come on! Jeez! Way to kill the mood! <laughs> Are you trying to let Yuma trying to go shake a shower and try and get naked? Huh? What are you even talking about? I can't think of it. Can she gonna conceal the everything? Even she's in the ghost room. She's probably gonna like see it, like when she when you went about to head to the bathroom or such. It's very strange, but anyway. It says wash face. Maybe that's not a fizz. He said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Why do I want to become one in the first place? It's not like I have any special powers. Except for is there anything. a reason why? Even if there was. Right now, I have no reason to try being a detective. I'm only pretending to be one to regain my memories. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? Jeez, why you even keep thinking like that? Like, I don't even know who I am, which because of due to Nisha. Master, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. It's not dumb. This is important to me. <sighs> Be careful. Yeah, yeah, Whenever I know. A detective size, a murder case occurs. Yeah, don't you dare jinx it. Like it wouldn't happen otherwise? I wish that was the case. Wait a minute, Yuma. You're good at cooking, right? Can you make something for me? 
How can he able to cook? He doesn't even know how to cook. I mean, if he can. Huh? Right now? Come on, man. I'm starving. Maybe if you do some expert cooking, it might rekindle your lost memories or something. <laughs> you're just saying that because you just want something to eat. Or you let Yuma do the work for you. Um, I guess so. Right! So get out breakfast. Thanks. Sure. Wait, Chief! What should I do? Give it a shot. Maybe your muscles will remember. I guess I'll try. But how do we make exactly? Oh, jeez. I do not know sure what you mean. Alright, done. Let's take it to Chief Yako. Oh. I mean, just plain old fried rice. I mean, that's kind of nice and it looks normal. Oh, this is looking pretty good. Oh my gosh. Well, the way how you're holding the plate like that, that's just something. I kind of like it though. God, only... I hope Chief Yako likes my cooking. We I mean, don't jinx it, but I'm not sure that might be necessary. Chief, breakfast is ready. Hey, it smells nice. Let's see. Really? You can't use a spoon? It's not like you can pick up the spoon or anything. <laughs> what is this? Um, also, I know sure you still smoke it, but when you're still trying to eat it, but what happened? Nah. Uh, He's gone pale. I hope he isn't dead. Don't jinx it. No way. Oh. Have you tried tasting yourself? Uh, Chief, are you all right? <laughs> Look at him. What just happened? I thought I was a goner. Oh my god! Did you? Poison me? <laughs> what is up with your face, dear Yako? It's just a plate of fried rice! Is it not just... Did you put too much spice into it? Why would I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it! Right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Yeah, you should blame yourself for that! Yuma, can you clean this up? <sighs> oh, that went about as well as I expected. And a waste of food. Master, if you ever want to boon kill someone, you should just cook for them. <laughs> you really think that food is gonna kill them? I think it'd be the perfect crime. <laughs> what did my profile say I was good at cooking? What can you do? So? Forget about the cooking, Yuma. At least until you get your memories back. Yeah, I figured. Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We still have no idea. But it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. Uh, it's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. But you're just scared, isn't it? They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. They even confiscated my office. And, well, here I am now. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? Yeah, that's one thing. I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which were higher priorities. Yeah, sure, that's really... that not a very important thing to think of in Conai Ward. And besides, ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? Yeah, that's curious to know, because, like I said, it's that Kanai Ward has been isolated for so long, and now why does I didn't want to check out the Kanai Ward? The Great Global Mystery must be a huge deal. Even number one is getting involved. Hey, isn't number one coming here? I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> you think I'd know? I mean, when we call him, I'm not sure he's still at his own at the HQ. Number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. Really? Dang. He's a really that special, isn't he? 
And I'm wondering why some most criminals are trying to get a hand on number one or something. That's why he almost never shows up in public. It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Yeah, but I guess he's it. The criminals are trying to get hands on him. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. The rumors say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Perfectly on his own? He didn't seem all that impressive to me. Anyway, he's got his hands full on another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. We'll save our trump card for last. Until then, we'll add a few cards to our hand. That card is a mess detectives. That's why you all were called here. Wait, where are the others? Ah, at this rate, we'll never have enough hands. Yeah, I'm wondering where I've been up to. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own thing all the time. How about using a cell phone? Even if you can't contact the outside world, it'd still be useful in times like these. We still can use it, can And no good. Risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Yeah, I have a feeling though. Does that mean, like, every Kanawa does have no phones around here? Okay, Yuma, you're getting your first job. Really? A job? Get the other detectives assembled. I've rented out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. Oh, sure. I mean, your errand boy. My guess is that they still haven't left the hotel yet. Each master detective is quirky in their own way. <laughs> you almost say quirky. Almost it sounds like something familiar, one. Listen, Yuma. Your job is to convince them to get over here. He says it's a job, but he just made you his errand boy. That's what I'm saying! Fine, I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. I mean, what would I? Sure gonna... hope you got all that down. You can check the next objective in the notebook menu. They'll be displaying the icon within the district on the Conline Ward map. Okay. So it's just showing like, yeah, showing where where I'm supposed to go. Then next, uh, go to the hotel to greet the message detective. Let's show what says next objective. Well, had to head out then. The walk's already slow though. And what his room is like? Oh, that is bathroom. But well, that's something. Look at all these documents and all these photos. I'm not sure what's the for exactly. Uh, this is a cheese bed. Come on. Messi get the sofa while Fuzzhead gets the bed. How is that fair? Well, it's a cheese agency, so it makes sense for him to sleep in the bed. I mean, he made his own bed, so what can you judge? Well, there's like so many things, I'm not sure what these are for exactly. I'm not sure these have like some kind of supplies or something. And get out of here. Meat bun. Especially kind of what comfort food for the local. Loved by children and I don't like. Really? Why did everyone like that meat bun so much? So your commemorative first job is an errand. Are you sure about this, Mr. Trey Detective? It's better than hiding out on the sub. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Shinigami. What do you know about number one? Huh? Oh, why do you ask? Why is that nervous? I was just curious. Wait, you know something, don't you? As if! Don't go thinking I know that geezer at all. I have standards, you know? Yeah, you're probably hiding something. Like, she probably already knew, but I had a feeling like... She's trying to pretend that I don't even know that. Besides, oh, what makes you think I know any humans personally? I mean, I'm a death god. The only people I need are dead. Okay. Anyway, you should scope the city out while on your errand. And who knows, we might uncover Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Is there? I don't think it's that simple. Well, let me find out to check around the area then. Wait, what's that sound? What? What? Where? I saw something shiny over there. Over there. Go get it. Hurry. What is that? I 
wonder what is that. Oh, it just floats on top? Oh. Amazing. Oh, just press A. Oh! Memory shot copper! I have a. Is this a memory shot? Gummy figurine? Why is it here? It looks very familiar, doesn't it? It's just like uh, one of those, like, in Danganronpa, they have this Manakuma plushie hidden around the areas. It's surprising if it is that that's quite unexpected. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. Also, I'm not sure this is a very big point. And this is something I'd like best way to check out. But, if you collect these figurines, you can get a peek at your memories, Master! Like how? Wait, it'll cure my amnesia? Nope. I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. How is that? And like, this is like a new memory? Oh, what memories can I see then? Your memories with all the detectives in Buzzhead's agency. You guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? I'm not sure how we talk about it. Um, what did we talk about again? Yeah, that's one thing for sure. How? See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. If you want to know what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Finding them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. No, you can check sure. all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, the same place you check solution keys. Um, okay. I think I understand. Maybe. She's saying that again at the last part, so you like no idea. Right on! Thinking you maybe understand is perfect. Oh, uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. What? You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Got it. So just like limits then. Shinigami's tutorial. Memory shine that looks just like me. I scattered across Connor Ward, which I had to look around. Master's got secret memories stashed away. Collect memory shards to watch episode featuring the other detectives on the Gumshoe Gab in a notebook menu. So it's more likely you check around like hang out time with the detectives. Yo, check check! Search around Connor Ward and collect all this gay cute memory shards resembling yours, Julie. Um, okay. It was uh, getting points as well. So I want to check out this Gumshoe Gab look like. Master's got secret memories stashed away. In Gumshoe Gab, you can watch special episode with each detective. But you're gonna have to find memory shards first to unlock them. Well, that's a lot to look into it. Here's a hint. Can we channel finding memory shard? Check out the hints. Um, okay. But I have a feeling this must be mostly where the other chapter is. Like, from, uh, I got the Yakos one. And the other one, 75, is the Iron Coffin Bed. And storage in the underground world. Find the secret of the toys. Princess Kaguya in the Baboon Grove. That'd be certainly hard to, like, I'm not sure I'm gonna find the old memory shards. Also, I'll find the other one as well. Like Holaris, uh, the kid's secret hangout spot. And let's peek at the microscopic world. Connor Ward's highest welcome. Going against it with the big guy. Swamp fit in the mail. That'd be so hard. And let's keep go. Let's meet in the front of the fountain. Shadow home secret peak patrolling. Going home because I'm scared. Okay. And for Buki, Solar and Lunar Wink, behind the glaring city, lunchtime in the business district, yellow car and lion statue, Tisha at the construction site, where I put exclamation mark for that, and Vivia, can't live without books, even crows want to pray, very bad city, very bad cars, loading peacefully beyond the red bridge. That'll be something really hard to look for hints though. It's this is really hard to look into, so let's check out the first one, is the um, Yakos one. I mean, it's more like I do some watching views or something like that. Detected the... Um, I gotta read, read the whole thing. <sighs> um, okay, that's the great start then. Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Well, it's nothing, really. It's kind of like very familiar. You guys, guys, then? Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, 
It seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. Really? I'd tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. It was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Yeah, sure. Sure is. But you know what they say. Every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Oh, I look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. Uh-huh. Huh? What's wrong? You felt quiet out of nowhere. At the him she's idea. You say nothing. I'm impressed. I don't know. Oh. It doesn't even matter, is it? Um, might as well go impressed? I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? I think that's not the right one, is it? Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. When okay. you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. You know, we just better be more careful about mad. this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. You don't drink a lot, do you? Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. Yeah, I have a feeling though. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? Praises on that? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. How, what? I can't believe you'd say that so fast! <laughs> wow. Why does it sound like a different persona? Any kind of persona series I know of is just like, it grew closer, you get rank up, but okay. That's something, I guess. So there you have it. So that's how Gumshoe Gap is exactly. So I have a feeling though, if I find some of those uh, memory shards, then I might probably go check them out and see if interesting. I mean, that's one thing for sure. So, anyway, I think it's now stalling around here, so let's just go out then. Where we're we supposed to be going. I mean, that's just how long the leads to. Um, Sunmo Hotel. It's a hotel located in Kamasaki District. Since Connor was at least from the world three years ago, did not get a Jurassic decrease. But it doesn't call it right. Come on, let's go! Go, go, go! You don't want to bring our anti. What's up here? Variety store. This place looks like a variety store. There's some questionable bottle lined up though. <laughs> hey look! There's a candy called Raindrops! Ha crappy! Yeah! I mean sounds familiar, say it. I mean best of one is except the whole thing to who knows what happened. Uh what's up going on here? Ah. Sorry, we're moving something to do here. You can go around for over there? Yes. Yeah, sure. You know, basically go like get interactive items, like and talk to people. My guess, I'm a point there. So, did you stop it? Oh, what's up, with this guy? Then it's so weird. Head up the stairs. And here it is. Out in the open, though. Oh, is that? Isn't that the one from? What was up with that person? 
probably don't see outsiders that much. Uh, come on, let's hurry up. That's the one from, like, right. when you left the train. Why are you running away from it? They're not related, are they? Anyway, um, when the icon shown, um, oh, there's a peak keeper, I see. Where could it be? Ah, uh, just go straight over it. That's supposed to be going, right? I don't think you can talk to her, so... So that's the hotel, huh? The Sun and Moon Hotel. Is it mentioned by Sun and Moon Hotel part? Yeah, they say directly, please. Oh. Hey, there's Vivian. I guess there might be few of them still here. Pardon me. You're not from Kanai Ward, are you? Yeah. No, I'm not. How did you know? I do work at a hotel after all. I can tell from how a guest behaves. Really? You don't better come here much, doesn't it? I don't know your circumstances, but it's rare to have guests from outside Kanai Ward. Patronage has plunged since Kanai Ward secluded itself from the world three years ago. Frankly, we've had little to do. <sighs> it's not as if we can just relocate somewhere else. I wonder how long this will go on for. Yeah, that's how I was gonna keep on. We don't customer run you. What's the point about that? Ah, my apologies. I shouldn't complain in front of a guest. Why did Kanai Ward cut itself off from the rest of the world? Does it have to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Hey, let's ask him about it. Um, um really? Why did Kanai Ward close itself off from the world? It was the will of Amaterasu Corporation. There's no other reason. It seems we common folk don't have a right to know. Really? I don't understand why the unified government permitted it. Uh, I mean, I have no complaints about Amaterasu. Amaterasu Corporation subsidizes the hotel, so besides the boredom from all our free time, we have no complaints. Yeah, that sounds like it. Sounds like Amaterasu Corp unilaterally closed the borders. If that's the case, they've got huge political power. Yeah. That's some nice information you got. Another step towards solving God I Ward's ultimate secret. I don't know about that. You got more points there, I see. So I'm not sure why Vivi is doing here exactly. I'm not sure what's going what's been doing. Excuse me, but we've had a guest living underneath the piano for the past few days. Yeah, that's Vivi. Is that someone you know? It's like having a stray cat. It's not really a problem, though, since we don't have any other guests. Under the piano. I think I can get close to get leveled up. Welcome to the Sun and Moon Hotel. Uh, although, you can't see the sun or moon from Kanai Ward anymore. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, how can you even see sun and moon? You only have it, like, the shape, though. Um... I heard there are agents from the Nocturnal Detective Agency staying here. I'm sorry, but due to regulations, we cannot disclose lodging information about our guests. Well then, may I leave a message instead? In that case, please fill out the required sections of this documentation and present your identification. Wow, that's a lot of work! What is up with that? Identification? Never mind. Maybe some other time. What is up with her? <laughs> Was... <laughs> you look so weird. I mean, yeah, that's one thing for sure. We got house plants. This is. And the closet at the dollar? You can tell it's sympathetic. Oh. Constant rain keeps sunlight out. So, growing real flowers is a no go, right? That's kind of. blick. I mean, right now for sure, but. okay. I think one of them mentioned from the the country gap point. That's not about the sun and moon thing. Solar lunar wink. Yeah, that's one of those things. Unless there's something else. Oh well. Anyway, what are you doing here, Vivia? Why are you underneath the piano what, then? Vivia? Oh. Yuma. Good morning. Good morning? Uh, what are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> I'm reading a book. You love reading a book, don't you? 
even if you're underneath it. Why he always light like that? The story I'm reading is about a boy building a sandcastle on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Many days pass, and the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. Wow. Even we a lot of you. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. As expected, she destroys the sandcastle and returns home. The protagonist wonders, why she do such a thing? You, Ma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh huh? Um, uh... Do I add it to make choice? Why did the girl destroy the sandcastle? See, the protagonist, she liked the protagonist. I don't think that's a concern, but I guess... Do you like the protagonist? Maybe she likes the protagonist. I see. If she continues to destroy the sandcastle, the protagonist will return to rebuild it. Is that really possible? And they can stay together. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle. It's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. That solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. Um, okay. Hmm. So, what's the real reason? The real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. You must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself. That's what stories are all about. Oh my gosh, Vivio. You be me too much, don't you? Just as you brought up this question, the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. No. The sight of the girl facing away from him, disappearing into the lake. Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Wow, really? Almost like a long forgotten memory. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of her. Almost as sounds like it's all realistic. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. Isn't it beautiful? Ah. <sighs> this guy probably has no friends. Yeah. I mean, he deserved one, but I mean... Maybe it is something, though. By the way, Vivia, Chief Yako asked for you at the office. Oh. Is it that time already? Tell the chief I'll be there. Um, All okay. Right. But where are the others? Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. He has zero intention of getting up. Yeah, it's like, I'll just stay here. Keep me in the book for a long time. Oh, also, do you know where the others are? Maybe the restaurant? They should still be eating breakfast right now. The restaurant, got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I want to die someday. Why would you say something like that, baby? Why you say I want to die someday? Do you need help? <laughs> if anything happens, it kind of sounds like me now. I feel like depressed. Maybe it's not depressed. And I, everybody else will feel depressed if you say something like that. But not literally. I never will say something like that, but still. Anyway, the restaurant is... Where are the others, bro? Like, what are they doing there? Over there, master. Oh! I saw something shining over here. Does that be it? Um... Yeah, they got silver. It's the Fubuki one. Nice sneaky little one, don't you? Man, I gotta rank up. Well, before I do, I better check out what's hey, going on here. What's up? You here for breakfast, too? Good morning, Yuma. Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Huh? Are we late? Impossible. Which, I mean, you, when are we having our own watch, will you? As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. My vision is quite sharp, you know. 
Yeah, sure. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's not an excuse for being late. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Really? Listen, Rookie. I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. Hey, don't blame... Don't blame Yuma as being as an errand boy. But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? Now that you mention it, yes. Don't be convinced so easily! Hey, that's Yuma. He have amnesia. How can you expect to believe now? Anyway, you should bring the Chief here. In no way, for all we know, the peacekeepers could be around. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so it's better to have it at the office. I agree with Yuma. What? You, of all people, are saying that now? <laughs> it's that football game not even care. Oh, jeez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. I will also be there after breakfast. Um, okay. You have to chew well to promote good digestion. So this will take some time. This doesn't take a lot of time! It just like take time to just chew for a bit like 10 seconds and then you swallow it. They go eat for the next one! How does that make you something that make you slow down? Got it. By the way, is Halara here with you? You don't see Halara anywhere. Ah, uh, uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. I wonder know what day we're going to. See? I gotta put day on it because, like I said, Halara's a non-binary. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks like we have legwork to do. Let's search around some more. Oh boy. That'd be hassle to say the least. I mean, anyway, uh, I'm gonna check on Gumshu, yeah? I got something on um, Fubugi. So, let's just see what this one. Flavor of Halal's candy? What well, is it? Back of it. Exactly. This is, we have a conversation with Fubugi. <laughs> Even she's just. This is the first time we have been alone at the agency, Yuma. Isn't that not normal? Hmm. Huh. Now that you mention it, I guess you're right. I know. How about I make you some coffee? Do you have my coffee, Yuma? Or would you prefer some tea instead? Uh... Which is which again? Really? Really now? Huh? What do you mean by that? Um... How to put this? One is dark and the other a bit pale. What's the difference then? Which is coffee and which is tea again? Oh my gosh, feel okay. <laughs> I... I... I'm not gonna say this, be rude or this, but please get the head out of your cloud. What? The difference between coffee and tea. Are you serious? Uh, the darker one's coffee. The better one is coffee. It was a funny joke. I guess it's darker one's coffee. I mean, that's most like a darkest coffee. Anyway, the darker one is coffee. Oh, it is. Now that you mention it, that sounds right. Oh, jeez. However, this is quite troubling. Really, now? There are far too many moments in my life where I cannot tell things apart. Really? You can't even tell? Just like with coffee and tea, I cannot tell the difference between an elevator and escalator. What's the difference between an elevator and escalator? Jeez! Okay. Or left and right. Or the day after tomorrow and the day before yesterday. I cannot differentiate many things. That sounds rough. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, there is more. Uh, what? Until recently, I thought paying reparations meant you were paying a repairman. What? What do you mean by that? That's a new one. She's such an airhead. I'm surprised she's managed to survive for so long. Yeah. Fubuki. Have your misunderstandings ever gotten you into trouble? Trouble... I suppose when all is said and done, I have managed fairly well. Manage? Oh, there was one thing. Oh, really? Really? If you don't mind, can you tell me about it? Yes, of course! Back when I was around 10 years old, uh. in the neighborhood where my mansion is located, a rumor was spreading about a high school student who could 
fly. I mean, you're gonna live in a match about that. I hoped it was true and wished to meet him, so I went for a visit. Billy. However, he could not in truth fly, but was rather considered something called a flight risk. Really? At this point, it sounds like a comedy skit. Oh, well, it gets worse. What? He was more than a mere delinquent. People considered him an extremist. Eh. Upon discovering I was the daughter of the Clockford family, he kidnapped me and barricaded us away. Wait, you went kidnapped? Ah, but off. B barricaded? Yes. He demanded the government revise the Constitution if they wished me to be returned safely. So, what happened after that? Yeah, that's one thing. What happened? Hmm. It was quite a while back, so I cannot really remember. Really? In the end, the laws were changed a bit, and I was released. The laws were... what? What kind of law is it? It makes sense a master detective, or rather a member of the Clockford family, would have such ridiculous stories. I mean, the only ridiculous thing is that was keep. Being unable to tell coffee and tea apart should have been the least of my worries. <laughs> Master, you and Fubuki seem to have grown closer. I yeah, sure. Even though she was so weird and all that, but... Okay. Whatever you're trying to say in this. Uh, secret club with a legal member only casino looking... Is this about a coming second district? Oh, whatever. Anyway. It is get out then. I have a green exam question mark too. Hey. Okay, there's no voice lines in, so. Hey, Yimba. I got a favor to ask you. Huh? A favor? What is it? Yeah. There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove. Survivor of the fittest, world starvation, the salvation. Am I gonna remember that curve in the dove? Man, this would be hard to understand much. <sighs> That's one heck of a tire. Right. It's a tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its extreme existence. In the end, the two turned the world into a wasteland. Sure. <sighs> Doesn't that sound a bit dull? <laughs> you think so? Hey. If you happen to find the book, I'll stop at you and bring it to me. Because? As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Busy what? Reading books? Uh... You sure don't look at... Don't look at... <laughs> well, look around for it if you're so inclined. <sighs> I'll just... Take it easy, wait here. Uh. Aww. It's blood, laziness, it's almost refreshing. <sighs> Alright. It's a detective's responsibility to help Request. Oh, really? We have a quest thing? That's the one that's for sure. You might see people in need of help while you're moving around town. You can receive a request by talking to them. Well, might as well give it a go. Take on a request in the detective way. You did a point can be earned by solving them. Oh, that'd be more points, the better, right? Requests can only be accepted and fulfilled in the chapter they appear. So only just on certain chapters, I suppose. Come on, pay attention! If you progress through the chapter without completing the request, it'll stay unsolved. If you progress through the chapter without accepting the request, it'll disappear. So be careful. Okay, so it's giving me a warning saying you didn't you didn't finish your request, so that's something. So that means that like something happens to you. Like we're like we're getting to the mystery lap at the point, right? Does that mean you won't be able to go back and try and do something? Are you gonna remember all of this? You can try. Yeah. You can retry unsolved requests if you play the chapter again. Do you? I'm not sure it would be possible, but okay. Detective work. Request accepted. We also have one more uh, on our slide there, I see. It's right up here. Oh, this man, the weird coat there, I see. <sighs> hey, kid. Could you spare a sec? Uh... 
what's the matter? Some guy was trying to push this weird book on me. I told him no. But he was so pushy. And then... I don't know if he has a quarter or what, but he was a real persistence. I get annoying just thinking about it. If a really long name to pro something something, what do you read that stuff? Oh, you talk about Vivia then? Maybe. Could that be the book Vivia is looking for? Um. Um. Where do you run into that person? Hmm. Huh? Well, if you take this straight toward Gima District. Turn left at the bar, you'll find him. Ah, they'll give me direction, I see. Now stay away, though. You'll be persistent. I see. I see. Thank you for the advice. Does that mean it leads to the bookstore? I also noticed that, like, that green outcome probably means that, like, this is, like, story progress, but still more likely, it's like still the side quest, though, still. So, just go up here and. Then Oh Is that it? Oh, I saw shiny things I got emerald I got Vivia's one Nice Man. This is This book seems to be made of waterproof material But for truth for a lot of stuff produced in Connor Ward some page may have been printed, painted completely black. Though I have no idea what it's saying. Well? Ooh, maybe some of the rest is sent to shape because it was stuff critical of them. I doubt they, they would put that card in that way, so. Anyway, I got another gun to a gamp, so I just want to check out another one. Is Bibi a what? Let's see what this new memory I have. Palama's coin. I didn't know what this is exactly. It's a bit about coins, though. Really interesting enough for first interaction. Ooh, finally finished a bunch of chores. Maybe I should go make some coffee. <laughs> Are you sneezing? Sorry. I had some soot in my nose. Soot? <laughs> what? Is that even a word? Yo, thing you're saying? I mean, what are you trying to say? Vivia, you are in there? Uh, really? Yeah, I was here the whole time. Not because you were hiding underneath the chimney, are you? You could have at least said you were there. You scared me. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll start doing that next time. I don't mind, so please do. <laughs> Yuma, you're too kind. You never mind talking to me. Um. I wonder why he always crawls into cramped spaces like that. You find it calming in there, right? But wouldn't you be better off on a couch or bed? If comfort level must be quantified in terms of the physical strain on your body, then yes. I mean, yeah, but I mean, if you lay like that, how are we able to, like, lay on the flat surface? But this reminds me of something. Reminds you of what? Well, what do you think? No. Vivio remembers when he's inside the fireplace. Oh god, what is it? What does he remember when he's in the fireplace? Good memories? Bad memories? Memories of the uh, firewood? Um, what does he remember? I'm just not sure. Even I had like a big pick bad choice, but it's gonna like a retrace that to what it actually is supposed to be. Mm. Something good then? Is it a good memory? Yes, that's correct. Really? That's actually a thing? When I was young, my parents would always discipline me by locking me in the storage room. <laughs> oh, that's been too fun to baby. Huh? How would their parent discipline like that? When I'm in here, I can relive those memories. Huh? They don't sound like nice memories if you were locked in there. Yeah, it's the same. Like, how is it considered as like nice memories there, baby? That seems pretty traumatic to me. No, those are good memories for me. I have many brothers. We all yearned for our parents' love. 
You have many brothers. How many brothers do you have? So, no matter what shape or form it took, I was happy when my parents paid attention to me. I... I see. Okay. I know. How about you join me, Yuma? To get locked up in the sun trim? Uh, no. Once you get used to the back pain, it's actually not so bad in here. Uh, no. So. No, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Master, you and Phibia seem to have grown closer. Yeah, sure. Look closer, like, I don't want to, like, your, like, my back hurts. <laughs> Not happening. Owner of the mansion. The owner mentioned made a sensible amount of money through real, real estate agency. It's really hard to, like, how much time to read this, so. Uh, it's mention the one down here. Am I supposed to go down here where it's supposed to be? Where the shady guy was? Oh. This. The one. Oh, that's the one. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, a new book comes out today, doesn't it? Have to pick it up to the work. Now that I think about it, the bookstore owner saying he had the older edition too. Maybe I'll get both. Speaking of which. All oh, right. If he asked me to buy a book for him even earlier. Yeah. Maybe I should ask this guy about it. Seems like he might know a lot about books. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for an unusual book. Ah. Oh, you like books too? In that case, you should get yourself to the Kamasaki District Bookstore. Which I already know where it is. They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they get their hands on them. Oh. That sounds amazing. Oh, right. The store is at the top of the stair, just up ahead. If you're looking for a book, that's the place to check. Yeah, I know that already. Thank you very much. Got it. Thank you. Now I know where it's supposed to go, and that's exactly where it goes to go. But I mean, this is only like speed running I have so far. So. What the heck is this? Book? It's so weird because most of the letters are all backwards, and also there are some like have H and a half Korean currency. Yeah. You! Over there! Looking to buy something? Are you wearing that jacket? Oh yeah, you're wearing that big jacket, I think. A deliver too! Help me out, dear. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? I deal all kinds of goods. But... Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Aww... Aha! Uh -huh. How are you gonna get out of this one? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't have much money yet. Uh, you must do have money in him. Just take a look. That co don't cost a thing. Come on, just one look. I got food, daily necessities, and loads of books. Hmm? Books? Speaking of which... To think of it, wasn't Vivian looking for a book? Oh. Looking for a book, eh? What's it called? Uh... Um... What was the title again? You're gonna be a long one, is it? Book called Chroma Dove. Or Survivor of the Fittest, that's what they call it. Now, oh, and the World Salvation. I think that's what we call it right now. World Destruction. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one to start. Nice dish you got there. This one's a real cult classic. Huh? Really? Yeah, it's a good one. Not too popular. I'm having trouble moving it. Gonna take one off my hands? Then... Yes, please! I'd like it to be delivered to the person sleeping under the piano at the hotel. Hmm? Hmm? Under the... piano at the hotel? Well, whatever. So I'm just gonna get the money from him. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you! Yes! Yeah, that means I fulfilled Phoebe's request. Come on! Not yet, Master! It makes sure the book reaches its destination. That's true. Yeah, right. Let's go check with Vivian. <laughs> Back to the hotel, then, I see. Let's see how far this goes. Man, there is a big gear of this happened. Not sure how far we're going. This is it London on tomorrow, too? I don't like how you say something like that. Having like a, that kind of cultist. 
There's a TV there? Outside? Why is it TV? <laughs> Why even have an umbrella as well? Why? It's a bit weird, don't you think? Anyway. I got you a book, baby. Yeah. Just like you wanted. Hey. Hey there, Yuma. A shopkeeper just came by with the book. You're amazing. You were the one who sent them, right? Thanks. Well? Yes. Did you read it already? Hmm. Yeah. It was wonderful. That's nice. What it means to be a crow flying through the air would be amazing. Right. I wonder if I could live free like a crow. To soar to the sky boundlessly. No. Just don't jump over the building or anything, okay? Mm. Right. I was considering it. You seem the book has a had an impact on me. That's nice. Truly wonderful read. Thank you, Yuma. And that being a please. Yep, I got one quest card. Oh, I got a lot of that points there, I see. Anyway, I think it'll be time for, like, stuff right here for today, I guess, so... I must say, though, that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie, though. And then we got a hala and I can't ever see. So anyway, I guess that's all this for uh first part. That I guess of the first chapter, I guess. But there's still got a lot of more things we need to look into it, so I'm not sure how far it's gonna go. Like if something occurs is like you do investigation, I must like keep going and playing it. Probably for like an hour or twenty minutes. If it's like I have a lot of investigation, I just no choice I can stop the end of point, so I I'm not sure. They also clearly have to find some all sorts of things, like memory shards and maybe some quest somewhere around the city. So this might be something long time to try to go to some everything. I'm not trying to be trying to make it a one hundred percent or anything. It just happens, okay? So anyway, that pretty much it for Rinko Plus. Like this video, hit the like button too. Like them up. Yeah, with the videos go subscribe. So then, I'll see you guys next time.